everybody, it's Kathy Allen, and I thought I would bring to you, through our Technique Tasters, a little project that doesn't take a lot of time. You can make a whole bunch of them all at once, and what we're going to be doing using Art Impressions, wonderful different Christmas sets, and trust me, they got a whole bunch for you to choose from. We're gonna make those really fun little ornaments that you can hang on your tree. These are simply, these are simple, they are fun. You can make them for each one of your kids or for someone special and think about doing like six, eight of them and adding them to your Christmas tree for something not only unique, but something that's special just from you. So to begin, you need some wood slices. These are pretty much available anywhere at your local craft store or rubber stamp store sometimes have it but they are just wood slices they're natural wood slices and what you're going to do is we're going to we could stamp right onto the wood but i like to add a whitewash before i start now i want you to see the difference between these two strong whitewash less water added to the paint light water light white whitewash that's hard to say lighter white whitewash and that i had more water in the paint so it just depends on what you want good old acrylic white paint i don't care whose brand you use and i usually use as a palette just a non-stick crafting mat so i will take the color that i'm using and all i need is a little daub of that on my crafting sheet and all you need is a bit of water. Spray that two, three times onto your plant, onto your paper. I can see it's 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 more like heavier cream, like um, coffee cream, and I want it just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to add a couple of more drops. There we go. It's getting more like milk now. I like that. And the reason why I like this angled brush is I'm just going to, oh, there you go, it's perfect. Do you see how it's not quite so heavy? What I don't want to lose is the beautiful grain of the wood in the wood slice. Bang, two done. Obviously, doing six isn't gonna take you much longer. So here we have my um, wood slice, and I need to make sure that this is dry. So whether you heat it with your heat gun, gently heat it with your heat gun to encourage the drying, or just let it air dry, that's up to you. But you need to know that it's dry for the next step. So it's a simple thing to do. What I, I don't even pretend that I know it's dry. I'm gonna take a drying powder. This is, oh, I can't even remember this one. You can, Everybody has one. It's a drying powder. Um, it helps prepare your paper when you're doing wet embossing, but it also will help dry things. So you just kind of pounce it on there and then you take a little microfiber cloth, okay? And it was from scrapperfect.com because they still have the label on there. And you just kind of dust it off. Now to test it, I think this is dry, but here's my test, black embossing powder. Take the spoon and sprinkle. If it all comes off, it's dry. That simple. Okay. Nice, quick, easy test. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to choose a stamp and I'm gonna choose, you can see I've done this funky little reindeer, he's so much fun in this jolly little snowman. Cool thing about Art Impression stamps, they, a lot of them, a lot of them are the perfect size for these little wood slices. All right, you don't have to do any altering of sizes here. They're perfect. So she also has done, okay, a beautiful little snowman, and that's the one I'm going to use this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to be inking it with Versacolor Black Pigment Ink. I need an ink that's going to stay open long enough so that it can grab black embossing powder. My raised black embossed line is going to act like a little dam to contain the paint that I'm going to add. So you're going to use your Versacolor black pigment ink. Make sure it's pig pigment ink, no blends, nothing else. You want something that's going to work well and you want black on black to give you the blackest image 
possible. Ink up your stamp, ink it well. If you see any ink in the open areas, do yourself a favor and just pick up that ink on the larger areas with the Q-tip. Just clean it up a bit. Beautifully inked, fine detail. Add your embossing powder. There you go. And now you're going to heat set with, with your heat gun. When you heat set this, it's going to take a little longer than paper. So you're going to heat set and you have to be, oops, you have to be careful because you are going to examine it carefully underneath the light. You don't want any grainy areas. Everything should look nice and glossy and it will take a little while. So here we have our snowman that is stamped with black pigment ink and embossed with embossing powder so we have a raised edge. This makes um, adding a uh, paint to this image very, very easy. And what you're gonna want is a selection of acrylic paint. I, it, seriously, my paints are years and years old. I think you can tell by the containers, but if you store them upside down like this, this is why they last so long. If you store them, for whatever reason, when I stir them like this, I have much more issues with my paint than when I um, have them upside uh, down like this. So now we're gonna begin adding paint and we're simply going to apply little bits of paint again to our nonstick sheet, adding water and applying it with a good paintbrush. Find yourself a good paintbrush, something that's, that's holding its shape and go in and add your color. So now we have added color to our image and the paint has stayed nicely within the uh, raised black embossed lines. I am going to add some shading. This is something you might want to practice a little bit on some paper uh, uh, before you do this, but it's kind of a fun little technique and it's just done. I like to use a square natural uh, brush, but it's angular. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out my brush. I don't want all that water in. I'm going to remove some. And I am going to pick up just a little bit of the black, just corner load. I don't know if you can see. I've just corner loaded a little bit of the black in there. Pull it on your nonstick sheet just a little bit so it kind of spreads itself across those top. And all I'm gonna do is go in here, that's why I like this shade, and all I'm gonna do is add that little bit of shading on his hat. Maybe I will pull some green on the, um, the green scarf. You'll watch me do that. Enjoy while I finish adding just some really cool little detail. There we go. Look at what we have here. Three handsome little guys stamped on these wonderful little wooden slices. Little bits of detail added with the corner loading of an angular brush. On the two that I prepared before this video, I added some dew drops and they were applied with, I really like the Clear Dry Nouveau Glue. It, what I like about it is the nib 
does not seem to clog up and it really holds things well. So it's hold, holdability, if that's a word, is amazing. I've added some bells. I've added some fun ribbon and fibers. There is three, this will have some added later. We have three amazing little ornaments. This really seriously doesn't take a whole lot of time. You could do a whole set for somebody for Christmas and give them that. I'm sure they would love something that is hand loved and created from your heart. So I hope you enjoyed this little idea. Happy painting. Play with it. You'll have some fun. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas holiday season. Bye for now, you guys. <music>